I, it's my belief that Eric Stoltz's fist punches me in the 50s cafe. Because I do not think that we reshot that because it was a close-up of me. It's no big secret that Eric Stoltz was originally cast as Marty McFly in Back to the Future. But what many of you may not know is that he is actually still in the film. The original choice for Marty McFly was Michael J. Fox. However, at the time, Fox was the star of the hit NBC show Family Ties. Despite their best efforts, the producers of Back to the Future couldn't convince Gary David Goldberg, the Family Ties producer, to release Michael J. Fox to make the film. So, in 1984, with a 1985 release date looming, Bob Zemeckis and the producers of Back to the Future were left with little choice but to rethink the casting of Marty McFly. The two actors left in the running were C. Thomas Howell and Eric Stoltz. Howell had made his debut in 1982 in E.T. the Extraterrestrial playing Tyler. The following year, Howell made a real impact when he took on the role of Pony Boy in the critically acclaimed movie adaption of S.E. Hinton's novel The Outsiders. Ultimately, it was the slightly older and more experienced actor Eric Stoltz who was given the role of Marty McFly. Stoltz had impressed Bob Zemeckis and Bob Gale with his performance in the film The Mask, where he portrayed Rocky Dennis. In late 1984, with the cast in place, shooting began on Back to the Future. Around four weeks into the shoot, Bob Zemeckis was viewing some footage and quickly realised there was a problem. Whilst Eric Stoltz is an amazing actor, his performance was just a little too intense and they weren't getting the laughs that the script was written for. Bob Gale and Steven Spielberg were in agreement and they managed to convince the studio to allow them to reshoot the four weeks work that they'd already done. This time, with a little wrangling on both parts, Michael J. Fox agreed to film on Back to the Future in the evenings after he'd finished filming Family Ties. This meant that Fox was working on average 20 hours a day, with the only daytime shoots being possible at weekends when Family Ties didn't shoot. Ultimately, the right decision was made and Back to the Future went on to become one of the most successful films of all time, with any trace of Eric Stoltz's performance being removed from the final film. Or was it? At this point in the film, Marty has travelled back to 1955 and is convincing his father to ask Lorraine Baines to the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. Unfortunately, Biff shows up to scupper his plans. For reasons that will never be known to us, one of the shots in the diner clearly features Eric Stoltz punching Biff Tannen in the face. Not convinced? When we slow the film right down, we can clearly see Eric Stoltz is the person throwing the punch. If further evidence was needed, these two shots were clearly filmed at different times. The bottom shot shows a very fresh-faced Tom F. Wilson as Biff Tannen right at the start of the shoot with Eric Stoltz. The top shot shows a more tired-looking Tom F. Wilson, who has now clearly lost weight and has bags under his eyes from the gruelling film schedule required to reshoot the film with Michael J. Fox. If you're still not convinced, here's Tom F. Wilson, Biff Tannen himself, in an interview confirming what we've just shown you in the footage. I, it's my belief that Eric Stoltz's fist punches me in the 50s cafe because i do not think that we reshot that because it was a close-up of me so there you have it eric stoltz is still in back to the future eric if you're watching get your agent on the phone they may owe you a few bucks <laughs> <laughs>